Hello, this is Ray Motor from ACG, and welcome to another edition of the Hot Seat. Joining me today is a longtime friend, Chandra Penditi. Chandra, thanks for joining the Hot Seat. Yeah, great to meet you today. I appreciate it. You know, uh, you've worked in a lot of other companies, Juniper, BTI. Tell us about this new company right now. Yes, so Ray, thank you, thank you for uh, inviting me for the Hot Seat. Uh, this company I started uh, eight months back, and this company is uh, kind of born by looking at the issues the industry is ha uh, having on the cyber security side. Uh, there are a uh, set of the solutions who had been out there, and those solutions does not work for the threats which we are seeing in the market right now. Mm -hmm. So that was the reason to launch the company, getting the, a lot of the inputs we got a lot of input from the potential customers, mm -hmm. and they kind of like uh, uh, suggested us to go for a solution which mm -hmm. is uh, uh, addressing this market right. in that whole different way right. okay. than what has been done in the past and what the other people are doing. Right. So is it is it more like a visibility, security? I mean, what what market is you really attacking the most? Would you say? data center, what's the main area? Yeah, that's a great yeah. question. So uh, if you look into the cyber security, uh, definitely uh, where the most of the challenges people are running, all the breaches you saw, that what is happening, the people are not only just uh, getting there from the vertical movement, but mm -hmm. they are get there and then they collect the data from the critical assets, right. and then they take the data out as well. Right. So one thing is the service impact, other thing is like taking the data from your data center mm -hmm. and taking it out. So the solution we are working on, uh, that it starts with the data center, but this is not just limited to the data center. Mm -hmm. This addresses your enterprise, critical in, in, in enterprise infrastructure protections. Right, okay. And as you pointed out that to create any of the solutions, what you have to do is you have to start from the having the like holistic visibility. And in the visibility, you should be able to see all of your assets. Mm -hmm. It's not only is like your asset from the host point of view or network point of view, everything you have to see. Mm -hmm. And even within like the host, what is going on there. Right, okay. And then once you have the visualization, now after that, you want to see what is going on mm -hmm. there. If there is threats which are developing out there, mm -hmm. and how you identify those threats and then take the actions. So that's a holistic kind of the threat detection. Yeah. That's really critical. And the way you kind of like detect those threats is not just looking at the network, or looking at the host, or looking at the applications. You have to have a global perspective right. of all the all the things which are happening out there. Mm -hmm. And that you have to be something, is, it's not just like something just feeding mm -hmm. to you. Right. You should have a approach where you are able to get the more data as you need. Mm -hmm. So it has to have a loop back right. process, control loop right. there okay. to look much more deeper. So that comes as a holistic detection. Then the third part of our solution is, this is something we call dynamic uh, security posture. Okay. Yeah. And the dynamic security posture is something which is pretty unique from the perspective that since we have the visibility of everything mm -hmm. out there, we are able to also uh, play and show you that what will be the impact once you try to mm -hmm. close the loop. Right. There okay. will be service impact yeah. or there will be no service impact or even how to mitigate some of those threats, which might be continuous threats, which right. you are not able to block from the like front end, or right, yeah. uh, even those threats might have developed inside. If you try to contain the threat, what mm. will be the service yeah, impact? Yeah, so that's, yeah. yeah, that's really, so that's kind of yeah. pretty critical that, that yeah. bringing the dynamic security posture yeah. to give you uh, the like, not only the view of mm. what is going to happen, Right. Uh, it's also that it prepares you mm -hmm. that hey, you know, there is going to be no service impact, or if there is a service impact, what you need to do okay. for that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, so if I understand correctly, there's the the visibility aspects of looking how applications flow and interact with each other and what the volume is. So by exposing that, you're able to look for any anomalies going on, 
and then there's a self-learning there so that you can learn and continue to improve the network and then there's a predictive part where you can do even more advanced features right now uh, moving forward from this point of view how far away is this product from being real in that, in that point of view and who are the potential target customers you would say Yes, so that's a great question, Ray. So from the making the this product a reality, we are pretty close mm -hmm. to have this product out. Is it this year? Yeah, this say? year okay. we are going so to get the year. product out to the market. We right. are already have been showing the product to the mm -hmm. potential customers. Right. Some of customers are pretty excited. They want yeah. to have it sooner than we okay, can good. deliver. That's a good problem. Yeah. So uh, that's a definitely is like a good uh, problems to have. Right. Uh, we still uh, we we want to make sure that when we come out, as you pointed out. Uh, one of the most critical uh, feedback we got from the most all the potential customer is like uh, ease of use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only from the rolling point of view, but also is the operation point of view, day to day operation. Okay. Uh, so that it makes life easier for the people who are running those security operations. Right. Okay. So that's a something yeah, very sense. critical for us, and we have taken those input to our heart, and mm -hmm. we are kind of like making those things pretty uh, simple. So one of the things we are also doing, just like as you pointed out, uh, we do a session uh, with the customer bi-weekly basis. Right. These potential customers are on the table. We show them what we are kind of doing mm -hmm. and get their feedback. Right. And sometimes feedback maybe is like, uh, this thing makes sense, yeah, these things okay. are so noise, yeah. so we can yeah. eliminate those noise and focus on the real Right, things. what they really want. Yeah, and one of the things you pointed out, which, uh, I will like to just a little bit uh, put more color on it. Uh, the solution is not only about uh, looking at the way people have been doing the things. There is a lot of innovation has come in there. So it's uh, uh, some of the innovation we are bringing in there, which is not out there. But mm -hmm. many people have believed that it cannot be done as well. Right. So we are. Uh, uh, I'll say I'm pretty lucky to be working with some of the most innovative people right. who have been on these problems and they have figured it out how to okay. do it. Okay. So that's a something you know. So we are looking forward. So it's, it's it's going to happen this year. Good. Yeah. A, well, you're officially off the hot seat. Yeah. Thank you. With, thank with you Chandra, so this is Ray Moto. Welcome to another edition of the hot seat. Thank you, Ray. Thank you so much.